Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in to your You Need to Hear This Tarot reading. This will be a general three card spread, um, drawing out some messages that may be helpful for you, something that you might need to hear. Let's jump into it. This reading can be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's have a look and see what you need to hear. What messages come in for the sign of Scorpio? Okay, something that's been up in the air, feelings, emotions, unanswered questions, unfinished business. There's going to be a wish that's fulfilled from this Scorpio and possibly something that you're going to hold on to and find value in. Let's investigate that Seven of Cups a little bit further. It can be that there's a lot of unanswered questions or there's a lot of things happening uh, right now or a lot of options that are going to be presented for you. It may or may not involve another water sign, so a fellow Scorpio, a Cancer or a Pisces or an Earth sign, a Taurus, a Capricorn or Virgo. Um, the Seven of Cups, it's, all of, it's, it's a bit of a selection process. There might be a lot happening in your mind mentally. There might be a lot happening emotionally as well. But it goes to show that right now things are uh, things are up in the air. There's a lot of um, open opportunities and open possibilities. So if you've received a no from someone um, regarding the job offer, if you've received a no, I don't want to talk right now from a loved one or maybe even from an ex, I feel like there is still an open door. Um, and if you feel that door has shut for you, Scorpio, I almost feel like it's just, it's a jar. So it's not shut entirely. There's still like a glimmer of hope that this opportunity or this circumstance or whatever this is that's happening can be completely turned around. So uh, there's possibly uh, the, the notion of you going through some things and, and making new goals for yourself. Oftentimes, this silhouetted figure can be interpreted as um, choosing an experience, choosing a person, having a lot to think over. So it's a bit of a thinking process here, but you're going to go with how you feel. Um, your emotions are everything in this situation, and you're really going to follow those, um, and it's going to lead you to make a decision, which can also be in, in wish fulfillment. So suddenly, the cups that were all swirling around you, unanswered, elusive, Maybe something you thought you couldn't attain, you couldn't hold because it was mysterious or because it just never eventuated into something. And maybe it's going to cross cross your mind again in this upcoming phase. And suddenly all the cups that were up in the air, um, disoriented and scattered, suddenly they're all going to line up in a, in a very beautiful line here. Things happening accordingly. It can also be translated as synchronicity. The cups everything lining up as it should the cups lining up but this is the the wish card uh, you can see this figure here almost presenting themselves going what can i get for you what can i do how can i accommodate you your wish is my command so possibly a wish that you've wanted um, it is coming true for you here scorpio uh, maybe more emotionally speaking because you do have two cups cards or indirect relation to a water sign perhaps but also the nine of cups because a nine of number is a number of fulfillment, you're going to be receiving something or there's some sort of understanding that's coming to you and you'll finally feel fulfilled, whether it's closure for some of you, um, whether it's finally having a person, place or thing that you've been wanting to attain, wanting to have, wanting to possess. Scorpio, this could be that this could be the time, the time frame when that becomes a possibility and suddenly you'll ho be holding something in the physical here. But I do feel as though there could be someone that's accommodating you or someone is trying to be very, they're trying to accommodate you, whether it's the universe trying to accommodate you, whether this is another person, there's someone here who's trying to make something more pleasant or something smoother or easier for you. And I like that. I feel like this could be someone reaching out and helping you directly. Uh, but nonetheless, I do like what it represents and I feel it's a very um, auspicious sign here that anything that was sort of scattered and up in the air, it's going to line up and everything is going to make sense, whether this is understanding, fulfillment, wisdom, purpose. You might find purpose with another person. You might find purpose within yourself. Maybe emotionally speaking, you'll be able to move on from something even. Uh, it's very powerful. 
But I, I feel like it's a wish, something or someone you've been wanting or something you've been wanting because there it is. So I feel like you could be in a, you could be entering a very powerful wish um, fulfillment uh, phase. Maybe you'll be attracting a lot of what you want. Maybe um, the vibes that you'll be putting out there, maybe you'll be working more intensely using the law of attraction to actively attract people, places, things, experiences. But I feel like there's a message here that whatever you think about, you'll ask for, you'll receive, and you'll hold it in your hands here. So a lot of opportunity, things that perhaps you didn't think possible uh, that, that could happen for you suddenly happen and evolve and, and you'll be holding it in the physical here because the four is all about ownership. Um, you can see that he's holding the pentacles here um, and he understands how valuable they are. That's why he's holding on to them. So it's either you're still holding on to something, maybe someone's emotions or someone is potentially still clinging on to you. Maybe they're still hopeful and they're wishing for you. It, that could also be the case and it could be someone that just so happens to fall under an earth sign um, a Taurus a Capricorn or a Virgo but the four of Pentacles can also be sitting like on a pot of gold it could be that you'll finally see the value in something or someone um, and maybe that wasn't really made obvious made plain to you beforehand Maybe it's taken other things. Maybe it's taken time or understanding here, Scorpio. But I feel like there's a message here that you're going to really come to value. Whether it's value a friend, value a person, a lover, a relationship, um, even an incident or, or an occurrence, a circumstance. Because essentially, I think it'll teach you something or has taught you something uh, with that four with that four of pentacles, it'll teach you something that you'll hold on to, that you'll come to value very much so. And it's not always experiences. It could very much be an item, a job, money. The physical realm can represent things like as things like assets and and and, and funds, uh, estates and properties, anything that we can enjoy in the physical realm. So for some of you, there could be a message here that you know, if you've been waiting for a settlement or an ownership or a deed or to sell a property or to attain a property or to get yourself something nice, a certain item, that could very well happen uh, in this transitory phase. But some of you, it could be a, a message here that some of you might be withdrawing from something or someone around you could be withdrawing. These are two very different cards here because the nine is all about, is all about I'm here, I'm ready, bring it. Here I am, let's do this, let's make this work, let's be accommodating and flexible, um, etc., etc. And the four, on the other hand, is vastly different. Uh, the four is holding on to something, this is withdrawing, this is not being so obvious and, and making your emotions so plain. So there could even be a message here that there's very differing, contrasting behaviors from either yourself and another person um, in a relationship, maybe even in a friendship. Um, and that could be coming up. That could be one of the experiences coming up for you and um, as well here, Scorpio. But I will leave your reading at that. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. Please don't forget to leave behind a like or a subscribe. That would be very much appreciated.